Go ahead, Zach. So I'm going to explain each blood type in our family tree. Zach's studying uh, genetics and biology So right now. basically, there's four main blood types. There's A, there's B, there's AB, and then there's O. So I'm going to record this. No, me. I'm a little fat right now. <laughs> I'm not. All right. So basically, if you're A in our family, you can either have uh, homozygous A, which means IA, IA, or mm -hmm. you could be heterozygous A, which can be I, big A, I. So that means you have part of an O in it. But si since uh, the A um, trait is dominant, mm -hmm. you'll still show the A trait. Same thing with the B, either I, big B, and then Just I, go big over B. my family. If they're all A, but I'm O, how is that possible? That means that both my parents are must be a carrier for O? Um, okay. So to have O positive or well just O in in the blood type, you have to have two little uh eyes. Mm -hmm. So what's the blood type of your dad? A both my mom and dad are A. Okay. And apparently everybody else is A, except for Sue who's negative. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Both a. your parents are A. Yeah. That's cool. Black okay. black. So Silver. it's like this. Blue. So both your parents are A. Mm -hmm. So that means they either have a big A and big A or a big A and a little. Well, they have to have a little A in order for me to have a. So right? yeah, they have to. That means both of them are heterozygous A. Because mm -hmm. if you're O positive, there's no way for them to be both. So they're both so heterozygous one, A. So, so one both, of them's got a negative. Or they both also have a negative A. What do you mean they both are? Because how would Sue have the RH negative? Or you don't know this one. I don't. I didn't hear it. Don't do like, yellow. You can't really see it. Okay, yeah. No, I thought it was be a... Do green. Yeah, a little different. So it'd be like this. Okay, so if my mom and dad are both A, yeah, then they are a carrier for O. They also are carriers. So basically... So they have a one in four chance of having a child that has O, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I studied genetics rare. too, so I have a good understanding. It's a 25% chance that you'll have a heterozygous or homozygous A. A 50% chance you'll be heterozygous A. Which means you're a carrier. For O. Well, they're a carrier for O. Obviously, they're a carrier for O, right? Yeah. And then there's a 25% chance. I'm the 25. That you'll be um, an O positive blood. But uh, what happens in these antigens is, I guess, negative and positive have different RH factors. So it all depends on like how it works in your body. Maybe one of your parents is a carrier for an RH factor, and that's why Sue is um, negative. negative. But I, there's no like scientific e evidence. It's not like we have a, an, a complete understanding of what's going really? on. Really? Did they discuss RH negative? It's n no, they don't really discuss it much. It's just I guess slightly different antigens and RH factors. Alright, finish your So basically, yeah. there's four main blood types. Mm -hmm. There's Mom. A, which means it has an A antigen like this. Mm -hmm. Watch. So it has this thing right here. Can there's, you go get Kai? There's B, yeah. which means it has something like so this. Because Kai's coming over. There's A B, which goes like this, mm -hmm. and then there's O, which means there's nothing. Like O is okay. a zero. Okay. So these are like how our blood cells are. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for uh, your education today.